Hey guys, look at Jazz Tutorials. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to create a somewhat of an album cover. Um, if you uh more so like iTunes album covers, but you know you can use it for maybe like a CD too if you want. I mean, it's up to you how you use it, but I uh, make my own album covers for um iTunes quite a bit because sometimes I download songs. They don't have um, iTunes uh, covers yet in their store, so I do that for fun. Um, you can really take this multiple ways. I'm just going to show you a um, easy way. I've made album covers um, for my iTunes library. They're certainly able to be used for um, a legit CD, like if you want to make a CD and stuff. You know, you can certainly do this for that too. Just print it out and stick it in. You're good to go. Um, alright, so I have made a few already, um, I'll show that for you at the end of what I've made, but, um, one that I thought was pretty cool, um, involves a blur effect, so I'm gonna open a couple of pictures here, let's see which ones we're gonna use, um, I think I'm gonna go with these two here, because these ones work best for what I'm gonna show you, so, let's see, we're gonna open these here, and I have to actually crop these a bit, just because they're so large, um, so we're going to just crop it a bit, yeah. And feel free to adjust the size of your photos if you need to. Um, I probably will need to, but um, that's, right. so do that. And I want to create a new file up here. I'm going to go to new, and you want to go to your uh, web, and I'm just going to use 800 by 600, and then I want to crop that a bit. So I need to move this out so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Then go up here to your cropping tool, which is over here on your tools, right, fourth one down from the top, and you're going to want to just crop out a square, so hold your shift key, hold shift, and then move it so you make a perfect square, like that, and now you got like an album size cover, um, so that's basically the size you're going to want to use, is what, what that is, um, you go to image adjustments, you can see what size that is, it's actually 600 by 600, which works out perfectly, so then you're going to take your photo, um, you can do this, um, however you like, I want to use this one, Oh, let's see. Control. So I'm going to control A, X. I'm going to cut and paste onto my original United layer. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to save that. No, no, no. Okay. Command V. Now, as you can see, it's pretty large, so I'm going to just resize it by doing Control T or Command T if you're using a Mac with me. And I'm just going to move it over here. All right, there we go. And then take the other photo and do the very same thing cut and paste onto your United layer. Well, that's a little large. Okay. Oops. I think I need to move those down just a bit. Okay. Alright, there you have it. So now, on the top layer, which is this one over here, this guy here, we're going to now go over here to our gradient tool, and you want to select black and white, or white and black in your swatches here, and make sure you select this one here, foreground to background, or background to foreground, doesn't matter which way you do it, and you're going to add a mask layer onto that layer, so click the little square circle button there, add a mask to that layer, and now you're just going to go and hold the shift key, Make a perfect line and go straight across like this. Oops, wrong way. Huh. Backwards like that. So go backwards and you're going to blend it in. Essentially, you're blending in this image into the other image so that it blends in a bit. You may have to move it over a smidge. And then you can always take the... If it doesn't look blended into your liking, you can always go to the eraser tool. Select that, and then select a 100px brush, and then you can just always rebrush a little bit out of it like this. Like that. Alright, that's what you want to do. And then, just so you don't accidentally screw up this layer, you can actually um, apply the layer mask if you'd like. But if you feel like you made a mistake or something, you can always delete the layer mask and redo what you just did. But, um, yeah. I'm going to leave my layer mask like that for now in case um, I want to go back and make changes, but you're welcome to apply the layer mask if you feel that you have the right settings for your image. Okay, so now that I have that one done, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to now duplicate that layer by doing Command-J or Control-J, depending on what you're using. 
and I'm going to go up to my filter and I'm going to add a motion blur. Now for the motion blur settings, it's up to you. Basically, you can do whatever you'd like. I'm using an angle of tw negative 22 and a distance of 92 percent, or 92 pixels, sorry. And um, on that one, you're now going to go over here to the eraser brush, and we're now going to brush out um, parts of his face and what and the clothes. So just use a 100 px brush for this, so that way it looks pretty interesting. So I'm just gonna go like there, and. We did a similar effect like this in previous tutorial. I'm pretty sure you'll, I think it was the rainbow, uh, one of those rainbow tutorials. I like rainbows, so there you go. <laughs> and you'll get that little cool little effect there. I think it looks pretty awesome. And, and you're going to do the same effect with the second image over here. Just because I think it would look cool if you did it on both. Um, but if you want to use just one, that's fine too. Um, so we're going to control J, or command J that one, copy that one. And essentially add a motion blur in the second one as well. Um, now on the second one you you should probably to make it look even more cooler I'm sure you want to alter the settings a bit so I'm going to alter my settings just a bit and do it the opposite way so I'm going to go like this and that looks how much like it. and then again just brush out the face so it looks like it's you know not weird and stuff <laughs> yeah that looks good. And that looks good to me. Alright, now, you can just stop right there if you want to and add some text and say, oh, yeah, there's my album. But I'm going to go a little step further and I'm going to also, let me just crop this out a bit. Okay. And I'm going to go up to my image adjustments and I'm going to add some color to it. So I'm going to go to color balance. Oops, hold on. First, actually, I want to color balance the whole image. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go over here to layer first, sorry, and you're going to flatten the image a bit. So flatten the image so it looks like that, and that's all you got. That way you're not messing up any layers or whatnot and nothing else is getting messed up. So go over here to image and adjustments and click on now. You can click on color balance and adjust the color balance to what you feel is right for your, for your um, settings. No set um, colors here, just whatever you feel like you want to use. And feel free to adjust all of them, shadows, mintos, and highlights, or just one or two of them, doesn't really matter. Yeah, I really like that effect, actually. That looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe you don't think so, but I think it's pretty cool. And then just go to um, image adjustments again. And I'm going to use brightness and contrast to brighten it a little bit more and add some contrast to it. Even though I know it is bright, we want to make it really cool. So I'm going to brighten it in contrast. There we go. Oh my god, that's awesome. I think it looks pretty awesome, don't you? I mean, I don't know. That's just my preference there. And then you can add your text to the top. Um, or whatever. It is. I don't really... Let's see, I'm going to type text. I'm just going to type the word have it all. Just because. And I have to, of course, change my font to black only because that's how it's in the scene. So. Um, yeah. Whatever. I, I don't know. I guess that's a cool font, right? I don't know, but whatever. That's how I'm going to perceive my album cover. And, um, yeah, I mean, you can actually go further and you can add more photos, do more stuff, but that's basically the basis of it. Just play around in Photoshop, add some cool effects to it, um, blend in images, and you'll get a cool little effect like this. Um, and again, at the end here, I want to show you cool other ones I've made in the past for other um, album outworks on iTunes. Um, I mean, you can really, there's endless possibilities, guys. I mean, seriously, I mean, you can really go further. Um, I hope this helped you guys. If it did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I love subscribers and comments and people. And you guys are the ones that made me the biggest person on YouTube that I am. And I love you guys, so thanks for watching. Um, and just so you know, if you really don't like this video, there's no point in commenting. I mean, if I did something, you know, retarded or something, 
Um, you don't really need to comment because honestly, it doesn't really do any good. But uh, feedback of how you like it is fine, but no hate. <laughs> hate is bad. Thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, there's my final outcome there from our tutorial, and um, this one here is what I made earlier, as you know, and uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like.